Oh, right. Okay, we still gotta look for that lost armor col support column. Okay, guys, I have to wait for you to catch up. Dunk, dunk, dunk. And... Pretty much a scripted event. Wait. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems that unlike Viet Cong, unlike Viet. Wow. Yeah, um, so you see, unlike, unlike Viet Cong, these guys just come out in a scripted manner. And, of course, of course, in Viet Cong, the AI was much better than. Okay. Alright, I had to like stand up just to get that guy. Oh, come on. Okay, I need Okay, you're get okay, I'm stuck. Okay. Alright, where's the enemy fire come from? Someplace, right? Oh, it's over. Okay. All right. <sighs> okay, seriously, I think they need a better way of. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need a better way of switching weapons, because this is ridiculous. Alright, the bodies have disappeared. Okay. Alright. Okay. The flamer, American flamer. Ooh. Oh. And there goes the American flamer. And there's a heavy machine gun. Okay, we got. Okay, guys. It's ridiculous. I mean, the VC were there, and you guys weren't even doing anything. Okay. All right. I might die in this, but. <laughs> So what do you want me to do? Clear enemies in the column. There's one. Wow, that's funny. Glitch there. Suppress the bunker to get the last APC. Alright. Aha! The M60. Now, if I remember correctly, the M60... Is like the one of the common things that 
the U.S. support troops have. Um, this M60, the M60 was like based on designs of the German FG42. It's a paratrooper rifle, and yeah, after they stuck after a lot of research on the on that particular based on that design, um, they created this. And it's also famous for those Rambo movies. And, let's see, suppress that bunker. Like this. Wait. Alright. What's the situation? The situation is we're getting our asses handed to us. Gunners got snipers all over those trees. They're also dug in along the tree line in that bunker. We've been pounding the hell out of them with that blooper gun, but still can't flush them out. Let's see what we can do. All right, men. We gotta target that bunker with smoke. Get in close and pop smoke right on the target. Once it's done, we pull back to this position and let the fast movers get to work. Let's go! Okay. Clear out the patty of Viet Cong. All right. Poke your head out. Okay, there they are. All right. Okay, right there. That's one. I wonder how many guys there. I wonder how many of these guys are out there in the patty. Right there. Right there. Three. And more. I get this impression that that machine gun's so fixated on me. Man, they'll fit ammo. I kinda wonder if this is the only level I get to use the M60. Nope. I, I hope so. Hopefully I can. There. Hope he's the last one. Right. Alright. Suppress the gun nest so Zoo can pop smoke. Alright. Suppressing fire. I wonder if machine I wonder if uh, the M60 is even the fire is this heavy. Uh oh. God damn! Medic! Uh, Jesus Christ, medic! We gotta pull back to the road, man. The I think uh, Zook got way. shot up by that the machine guns. Oh man. Yeah, I probably didn't see it, but I think Zook just got hit by the machine gun. Hurry up, God damn it! Medic. I know it's bad. I've seen Medic! it. Oh, God damn it! Oh man! Oh, man. So oh we got shit! The call, man. I can't believe get this. Shepard, there's a letter in my pocket. Take it. I don't want the blood to give it to my girl. We have done good today, man. We have done good. It's gone. Oh. Oh man. And napalmed. And we lost Zook. Oh! You sons of bitches! I'll kill every last one of you! Gosh. Oh, shit! Oh god, why? <laughs> I've seen this kind of like. I kind of, I've seen kind of a situation hey, like this. He's gone, but we're alive. Everyone here is alive. Mm, I've seen things like this before in like Platoon, you know that film by Oliver Stone. Hmm. Sad. Jamie, 
I know I haven't written you very often since I've been over here, but I figured Mom and Dad would keep you up to date. I'm sure you must be tired of hearing them talk about me, so I thought I'd write you direct. You probably heard on the news we had our first big fight against the Viet Cong. You wouldn't believe the kinds of tunnels those bastards did. We had to fight our way up a hill that was crawling with them. We lit up the entire hill with artillery, but we still had to fight for every inch of it. We were all scared as hell, but most everyone I know got through it. Except our lieutenant, Zook. He took it in the chest and died right there. Jamie, I can't explain to you how hard it is to see a close friend die in front of your eyes. Zook was always watching out for us, and treated us all like Marines, no matter what our color. One time, he carried one of our KIAs about a quarter of a mile through enemy fire on his own shoulders. Things feel a lot different now that he's gone, and we all have to watch out for each other. I'm telling you this because I hear you have some problems at home. Whatever you think you're dealing with, I'd be happy to trade places, bro. Mom and Dad have enough to worry about, and they don't need any extra shit from you. Try to pull it together so you don't wind up in jail. Or worse, over here. Your brother, Dean. Hmm. Yeah, again, that was sad. <laughs> and yeah, took out, took down 104 guys. Okay, so looks like the, I guess the Da Nang ca campaign's over. As the war in Vietnam progresses through 1966 and into 67, the Viet Cong developed new tactics to blunt the material advantages of the United States. The Americans' use of the helicopter allow U.S. units to patrol vast swaths of countryside and respond quickly to enemy activity. In turn, VC units mount sudden attacks and ambushes on vulnerable American units, then melt into the jungle when help is on the way. Bases along the Ho Chi Minh Trail in neighboring Laos and Cambodia allow the Viet Cong to retreat in the face of superior forces where the Americans are forbidden to follow. American forces operate closely alongside the Army of the Republic of Vietnam to locate and destroy Viet Cong bases and supply caches and to wrest control of the countryside from communist insurgents. Americans serve as advisors and aides to Arvin troops, especially in the hotly contested areas north of Saigon, known as War Zone C and the Iron Triangle. A series of operations with names like Attleboro and Cedar Falls are mounted to sweep this area clean of guerrilla activity. The difficulty of this task is compounded by the ingenious tunnel systems that crisscross this area. Dug by Viet Cong and local conscripts and well camouflaged, these underground structures range from simple spider holes and subterranean caches to elaborate bases with their own hospitals, munitions factories, and printing presses. Deep enough to be invulnerable to all but the largest American bombs, the tunnels allow the guerrillas to find safety and concealment until the Americans pass, then re-emerge with their insurgency capabilities intact. Dear Mom, Pat Hodges and me just got into Saigon a few days ago. Our friends Hoss, Greaser, and Smooth are getting shipped off to Quezon. Hodges and me got a temporary transfer to work with some South Vietnamese units in the area around the capital. Hodges has become a good translator and is good with the radio. I'm here to show the locals the best way to fight the Kong. Guess all the action we saw around Da Nang got somebody's attention. The Army has a new way of fighting down here using a lot of helicopters. And I think they want to see how the Marines will adapt to it. I'm just following orders. These Arvin guys are pretty tough. I haven't seen them in action yet, but they drill like pros and a lot of them are real angry at the Viet Cong. They're a lot shorter than your average Marine. And I don't think they've seen a lot of black folk before, because they seem kind of surprised every time they look at me. I think understanding them might be a bit hard at first, but with Pat's help, I get the hang of it. It was really hard to leave the guys back at Da Nang, but we'll see them again in about a year. Unless the war is over, and then we'll see them back home. Anyway, that place just doesn't feel right without Zoo. I hope Jamie's shaping up a bit. Tell him to write me when he gets a chance. Love, Dean. Okay, so, um... I guess I'm going to cut the, off the video right here. And so next time on Men of Valor, I'm going to be... <laughs> working with the 
the Arvin guys. And probably what it sounds like we're gonna it looks like they're based on that movie, we're gonna go through at uh, those tu about something about tunnels, V Kong tunnels. So see you then.